Um, being, of course, my community has a lot of horror elements, of course, the Dark Shadows had some of the vampire horror elements. Would you jump back into that genre of straight-up horror, like the debate of a Sleepy Hollow again after this? Well, I think uh, I've had enough of me for a while. <laughs> after this one, I you know, take a little bit of a rest. Like I say, for me, this this one is such a special project, you know, and, and so I'm just going to sort of take the time to enjoy that and, and try to nurture that. All the way in the back. This question is from Mr. Burton. First off, um, how do you feel about your animated work having, you know, start with Nightmare for Christmas, Corpse of Pride, now going to your third movie, how do you feel it has progressed? Second part of the question, over 20 years ago, Batman 1989, one of the first people who dug into that sort of your world. How do you feel about the current state of your movie? Well, I mean, it's, you know, I, I just, I, I, I recall back to when we were doing that and uh, how worried they were all that it was too, too dark. Now it looks like a lighthearted romp, you know. I mean, <laughs> Batman on ice, you know. Uh, so it's, just, it's interesting because it was such a kind of a, a struggle to kind of get that at the time, but uh, you know. I, so and animation, uh, you know, I do love stop motion. Yeah, these things always take time to get done, but it's, always, it's, it's a verified medium. Slightly lost art form, although there's, there's more being done now than usually than there was in the past. And uh, you know, it's not, it's just, there's something that's so beautiful about it, and, and uh, you know, just to be able to touch and feel the puppets and, and move them is just it, it's, it's something magical about it. You kind of wish everybody could kind of experience it. It's hard to talk about it. It's like you felt they say that just the, the intricacy of the movement and all. It's, it's quite a beautiful art form. Yellow shirt and 